Oh, by popular demand, Shohei Ono Tsuchimata. Um, as most Tsuchimata fighters, he has multiple variations of Tsuchimata that he uses. I'm going to show you one today that is, I think, a little bit different from the standard Tsuchimata. Um, right away, one thing I'm not ever going to show is the active posting with the head on the ground, because I think that's quite dangerous. And if you are strong enough to do that, then you probably don't need the videos anyway. Um, generally, don't do that. The second hand usually puts up here, or at least that's the variation I'm going to show you. You can also do it here or here, but I think feel that this one is the easier. The next thing that's a bit weird is the way he um, the, the way he steps into the throw. Usually, you would see something like this. Uruchimata. Or if you do a pull out, um, you would see a step back of pulling him in and then going for the Uchimata. Ono uses his left leg. He really throws it around in a circle to gain momentum and then instantly goes in with the Uchimata. So he tries to stand a little bit forward with his left leg. Then he throws that in a circle backwards, so here. And to me in the beginning that felt really weird. And it felt almost wrong, but if you do it a few times, you'll notice that you get a lot of momentum out of this movement. Try to throw him there. But if you have enough momentum from this leg, you get a lot of speed. And to do that, it's important to really do a big movement. If I stand here and do a tiny little circle, this doesn't give me any speed at all. What I want is really, I throw my, my leg back and use that speed to turn. Other than that, you have a few tiny things. Um, they're hard to see, but they really help if you do them. One of them is this hand. I don't just try to pull straight in, but I want to knock him in the back of the head uh, with my knuckles. So I'm not pulling here. Instead, I'm going like this. It doesn't look like much, it's often hard to see, but it really makes a difference Then you're not pulling here, but instead you want to knock him in the back of the head. So always go here. Another thing, he's straight on the line. Um, I'm not starting off by pulling him over here. I'm starting off by pulling him here. This reaction is almost always going to be to go where I don't want him to go. So if I tell him I want you to go here, he will go to the other side. If I give the first tiny bit of impulse in this direction, then his reaction will be to lean over there, making it far easier for me. So my first impulse is to pull him over here, and then he moves over there. If I move him over here and he goes to the other side, now it's the situation where it's really hard for me to um, stop the counter. So I have just a tiny little impulse. I'm not trying to pull him all the way here. I'm just giving him a little impulse over here. Now he's going in the direction that I want him to for the Uchima. That's the first of the variations of uh, Ono Suchimata.
Have fun with that. All right, first example from Ono himself. Uh, he's in blue. Um, this is in Randori, and his opponent is significantly taller and heavier than he is, or at least it looks that way. And the first thing you'll notice here is the reason why I told you in the subtitles in the beginning that the grip doesn't really matter for the Uchimata, at least not for this style of Uchimata. Ono does this from every grip he can get. There's footage of him doing it in a from a classic lapel sleeve, neck sleeve, um, one-sided neck sleeve, double lapel, armpit grip, and as in this case, with one of the least advantageous grips I can think of for Luchimata, except for maybe one-handed, he does it from a double sleeve grip, and it still works, and it works because of the amazing leg work that he does. So the footwork is what really matters, the grip is secondary. You can see him he trying to go for a lapel grip with this hand, but the opponent's hand on the biceps means that he can't reach the lapel. So instead he goes for the second sleeve grip here. And now the actual throw starts. He pulls down with both hands, quite, it's quite a stiff pull down. Um, in the competition example you see next, he does it f uh, this snap down far less. Um, I'm maybe he's doing it as much here because his opponent is heavier and therefore he needs more to put more energy into it to get the same reaction. But anyway, the actual throw starts with this foot and it gets thrown backwards in a big circle. And that's why it's in front here. If you put your foot here and then try to throw it back in a circle, you can't really. You can do kind of a semicircle here, but if you want to do more of the circle, you have to keep it further forward so that you have the room to gather momentum and speed. Here you can see how far he throws it back. It's not a small quick movement over here. Instead, it's a very, very large circle. Really try, try to throw it back as far as you can and make the circle big. As it, come back, it comes back in, he does kind of a shuffling step where this foot trades more or less trades places with this one and this one goes in. So as you can see, this foot is now almost exactly where this foot used to be. Here Ono shows his um, tendency to get really low with his head and he leans away from his opponent very, very heavily. He was horizontal, he's now even, even more than horizontal. His shoulder is very far down and he's far away from the upper body. This is not necessary for the throw. Ono doesn't always do it like that. Um, ono sometimes has this throw, uh, does this throw where he is relatively upright. And when I tried it and practiced it and tried it in Randori, um, this was not necessary. You can do it and if you feel well doing it, throwing your upper body um, out to the side as much as he does, do it. But what really, really sets this one apart is uh, the footwork and the circle with the leg. So don't focus too much on this upper body thing. If you can't do it, doesn't matter that much. Focus on the leg work. And that's what gets him over. So once more, Ono trying to go for the uh, lapel grip here, cannot do that, goes for the sleeve. Snaps down, big circle, and over he goes. And here's the second example, this time. And here's the second example, this time from competition. Um, more or less by accident, it's again a variation where he uses double sleeve grip. That's not what he usually does. Um, I just picked this one because it was easy to find in a good quality, and yeah, it's just... The positioning for the camera is perfect, so there's that. You don't have to do this from a double sleeve grip. I don't advise you to do it. Do it from a normal grip, but it works from both. So Ono in white, and again, um, f I would say more mainly focus on the leg work. That's what's different about this. This leg gets thrown in a circle back around, and then he uses that momentum for the Uchimata. So he throws it back and around, and up goes the Uchimata. 
see that a little bit slower. So this time he has less of a preparation than he did before. Um, my guess is his opponent is already a little bit open here on this side, th so there's less of um, momentum necessary to start the whole thing. And yeah, maybe it also helps that his opponent is not taller and heavier than he is. But here you start. This foot gets planted down. This one gets thrown around in a circle. There's the circle. And at the very end of the circle, as this foot starts to come down, this foot goes in. Now the, free, the feet are switched. Um, the, the, the foot he threw around in the circle is almost where his right leg used to be, or his right foot. And again, he is um, leaning away rather far. Again, I don't feel that that's absolutely necessary and he does it in different styles. Um, he's not leaning um, over as far as he did in the first example. There he was pretty much completely um, parallel to the ground. Here it's a little bit, he's a little bit more upright. But again, play around with that. And there's the Uchimata. And over he goes. So when you do this, really, the the leg is the key. I was playing around with a lot of different things, small small changes in the grip and in how far I would lean to the side and forward or something. All of that made very little difference. What really made a difference was using this leg very, very actively. Make a big circle, really kick it back, kick it around. Um, the more momentum you get into that leg, the higher you're going to launch your opponent and the easier it becomes to launch him. So yeah, that's my take on this variation of Ono's Uchimata. Have fun with that.